How you doing, Duff here? Today we are attaching a, a sunshade to my Husqvarna uh, TS242 XD tractor that I got uh, maybe a month ago at this point. I live in Southwest Florida and mowing the grass in the summer kind of sucks. It's so freaking hot. Something just fell off the wall. And um, with the tractor that I had previous, I had a, a Craftsman YT4000. I did have a sunshade on it and it made a big difference keeping the sun off me when I was mowing, much more enjoyable. So I plan to do the same thing here with my Husqvarna. Now the um, sunshade that I got is from Lowe's and it's, it's kind of a generic one. It's, it's not, yeah, it's called a universal sunshade. It's not quite as big as the one I had before, but supposedly it's easily removable, but gets the job done. There's not a whole lot of parts involved, but right here are the parts that came with it, a little bit of hardware, not much. And I got that bracket down there and there's the actual sunshade. So um, we'll see how it all goes together, but um, I don't think it's going to require a rocket scientist background to get this to work. Okay, one thing to keep in mind here, I just noticed this, that they actually have different assembly instructions based on the mower. Like the first set is for Cub Cadets, Troy Bilts, and then Husqvarna is different because there's different sets of holes that are used. So I will uh, make sure that I use the right set of holes. It's important. So you'll see the first issue I'm running into here. Um, this is, I have it mounted on these two back screws like they talk about in the instructions. But the problem is when you put the seat down, it's actually sitting on this bar instead of fully getting down onto the the uh, deck of the mower like it's supposed to. Now, when I saw this this uh, canopy at Lowe's, it was installed on Husqvarna tractor. It was not installed on a TS series tractor, which is a little higher end. And one of the things that they do change with the TS series is the seat design, and that's an issue. So I'm. I'm sort of thinking that my, my solution may be to move this back and just drill a couple holes in this platform. Not ideal, but let me, uh, let me see how feasible that is. Lock in there, buddy. Lock. Lock in place. There we go. Okay. So, all right, so I believe that's going to be the game plan we're going with. If I move it to here, I got a flat surface. Yeah. Right there. All right, I just need to mark this accurately. So let me see if I can get another set of hands. All right, I just had Cindy mark these for me. Drilling into my brand new tractor. All right, I felt underneath here, there's nothing on the other side that I should damage. Nice clean hole. So let me just make sure that the bolts that I have fit through there. Yep. All right, good. Should be good to continue. Let me clean up these uh, metal shavings, though. Okay, I just drilled my holes here and here. So we're going to put this on. You got a bolt. You got a washer. Now, it's not ideal to do it this way because... Whoops, because this is not as strong of a connection as there, but it's gonna have to do. Get this started. Okay, got that started. I'll get the other one started and then we'll tighten them up. Okay, the bolt on this side is pretty easy to reach the, um, well, the bolt. <laughs> this one is not quite so easy. The the gas, uh, the uh, gas tank is kind of cinched up here against where this is. So I'm using this extension to get it on there. In theory, I'll probably be using two sockets to do this. Okay, let's see how this goes. That's the top. This on the bottom. Uh. 
Oh, it's too big. Uh, I love a challenge. If you want to see what I was working in here, let's see, can you see that? Right up there is uh, where I had to get that nut on. With an extension, not a big deal. Okay, so now when we put the seat down, we have the clearance that we need. All right, let's move on to the next step. Hmm, well, the, the next step seems like you're almost done. You basically take the sunshade, which collapses, you unfold it, you put it in here. There's little, there's little um, spring-loaded retainers that keep it in place. Now, let's see if I can get them in. But yeah, those just sit right in here. So that, let's see if we can get that in there. There we go. Damn, I think I'm, I think I'm done. You got some Velcro connections here to secure this to the post. Huh, wow. That's interesting. There's some other parts that they include, but maybe they're for other tractor models because they have instructions for John Deere's as well. So, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't need any of those other, those other parts. Yeah, shit. Looks like I'm done. All right, let's, let's just take a closer look here. That comes down, comes down. Oh, we got more Velcro. Okay, good. Huh. Nice. All right, so the reason that this is nice is because it's so easy. Like if you're in a situation where you need to, um, like if, if this is an obstacle, if you're getting underneath something low, you can easily take this off. It's just these two little buttons pop it off. That was one of the problems with the, uh, the shade I had on my Craftsman was it wasn't easy to take off and I would wind up squeezing under areas that I shouldn't. And then it would, um, catch and, and bend it and actually you can easily just pop this well i don't know how easily but you can just pop this down if you had to to get it out of the way i can't do it in the garage but yeah it's you can just fold it down as well just to get through certain spots so pretty cool and just to get a look at the folding mechanism inside you can just pull this this direction and the um, roof will collapse on itself it actually comes with its own uh, storage bag as well not a bad solution of course, we have to see how it holds up over time. That's the most important thing, but so far it's looking pretty snazzy. Yeah, that should do a pretty decent job of keeping me, keeping me cool, coolish while riding. All right, so there you go. That's how I installed the sunshade in my Husqvarna TS242XD. A little bit of creativity was required to make it fit, but it, I think we'll be okay. Um, if I have a problem over time, I'll be sure to let you know, but yeah, it feels secure and uh, it definitely will keep the sun off me. So that's, that's what really matters. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can always hit that notify bell, which is over there, which will let you know uh, whenever new videos are uploaded to the channel. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts about the installation um, in the comment section below. And uh, that's all I have for you for now. Now that I got my sunshade, it's time to start mowing. Until next time, Duffman out.